Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Habati fillah. Commanding the good and forbidding the evil is a, is a pillar of our deen as well. Not meaning it's from the pillars of Islam, but it is a, meaning the five pillars of Islam, but it is an important pillar in the religion in general. And something that in its various forms that we must continue to have in our lives, that we call people to good and we forbid ourselves and others from evil by at least reminding them at least disliking it. And let me show you how some of the Salaf of this Ummah, how they were with regards to commanding the good and forbidding the evil. In a beautiful narration, <clears throat> Imam al Dhahabi, he mentions in his Siyar A'lam al Nubala, or Sir A'lam al Nubala, he mentions, he says, Yusuf bin Asbat, Rahmatullah alayhi, Rahmatul Wasiyah. He reports that whenever Sufyan, meaning Sufyan Athori, uh, remembered the hereafter, he would urinate blood. It is also reported that Sufyan, Rahmatullah alayhi, Rahmatin Wasiya said, I sometimes see something. I feel I am obliged to speak about, but when I don't say anything, I urinate blood. And in another narration, it says, I sometimes see an evil being done. But if I don't speak about it, I urinate in blood. I urinate blood. Ahabatifillah, what do we gain from this athar of the salaf? One or two of the benefits we can gain is it shows us how the salaf of this ummah were haris, they were vigilant in calling to good and forbidding evil that they realize that that is one of the core roles of the person who gives da'wah in Allah. The one who has the qudra, the one who has the ability, because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, and he mentioned the maratib of commanding the good and the forbidding the evil, the different levels. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in a hadith in Sahih Muslim, the hadith of Abi Sayyid al-Khudri radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal sami'tu Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam yaqul من راء منكم منكر فليغيره بيد فإن لم يستطع فبلسانه فإن لم يستطع فبقلبه قلبه وذلك أدعف الإيمان رواه مسلم. So uh, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said whoever sees a good uh, whoever sees an evil then he should change it with his hand. If he's unable to do so then he should change it with his tongue, meaning speak out against it. If he's unable to do that, then he should hate it in his heart, and that's the weakest form of Iman. Letting us know all of those things have to do with Iman. That commanding the good and forbidding the evil is from Iman, it's from faith. And that it has different levels, which also show us that Iman has different levels. And that we may not always have the ability so then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it so there's another level for us to use. And with that, it's all under the auspices or it's all under Iman. It's all considered faith. Even though hating it in your heart is the weakest form of faith. So when Sufyan, when he felt something was wrong and he didn't speak about it, that he felt great discomfort and perhaps he had some sort of sickness and I'm thinking no doubt he did in that he urinated blood and that it shows that he felt great discomfort because we are made physically mentally and spiritually as one from Allah and our processes in our body our body function it functions as one and when that is in disharmony, meaning the body, you find all the various ailments that we suffer from. And that's a whole nother topic. But the point being is that just when he felt he didn't do his job and he had an opportunity, he didn't just brush it off like we do. For many of us, we don't do it uslin anyway. We don't even command the good and forbid the evil. We see a monkara, we just 
completely, we say, oh yeah, that's probably, that's haram. That's on her. It's on him. So we view things very differently where the Salaf became very uncomfortable because for them, the deen was everything. For them, the deen was real. They envisioned paradise and Jahannam. They felt it through their senses in that it was so real for them. Whereas we say, yeah, we want to go to Jannah. Yeah, we don't want to go to the hellfire. But we don't feel anything when we do a, a sin. And we are arbitrary in our good deeds. So we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to bless us with ilm al-nafi, rizqan tayyibu, amlan mutaqabbilan. And bless us to go forward based on the book and the sunnah. And may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala protect us from kulli suwa makruh. And help us to be of those who command the good and forbid the evil. And have a positive, righteous effect upon ourselves and others. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.